Well, Bitcoin as a as a the computer science behind that's behind Bitcoin is a great triumph of the human mind. That's what captivates a lot of these people. They've actually created a product that's hard to create more of, but not impossible. Now that is very peculiar, but they've managed to do it. So a lot of the computer science people love it just because it's such an extreme achievement of computer science. I, of course, have no interest in, in that because it's not my subject. And I see an artificial speculative medium that people are buying just because they think they can sell it to somebody else at a higher price, even though it inherently has no intrinsic value. And so I regard the whole business as antisocial, stupid, immoral. Immoral? Yes, Why immoral. Is that? Why? Why would you trade? Suppose you could make a lot of money trading freshly harvested baby brains. Would you do it or would you say that's immoral? You wouldn't trade them, would you? Too, it's too, too, too awful a concept. Well, to me, Bitcoin is almost as bad. It, it's not having any desirable social purpose. We've got debit cards. It isn't like we don't have a payment system. We've got WeChat in China, incredibly efficient payment system. China doesn't need Bitcoin. And if you have a WeChat, why would you do it in a medium where the value changes enormously? Nobody in his right mind would want a payment system where the very thing you were using went up and down by 20% in a day. No, I regard the thing as a, as a combination of dementia and immorality. And I think the people that are pushing it are a, a, a disgrace. Last there year, ought to be some things that are beneath you that you just don't do. And this is one. We did not need a gold certificate. I mean, a gold substitute uh, like this. Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold, which if it succeeded would facilitate a lot of illicit activity. Now that is not something I think the world needs. And the fact that it's clever computer science doesn't mean that it should be widely used and that respectable people should encourage other people to speculate in it. Bitcoin reminds me of Oscar Wilde's definition of fox hunting, the pursuit of the uneatable by the unspeakable. Well, that sounds better than what I used before. <laughs> <laughs> We, we asked earlier, Charlie, uh, uh, Andrew brought it up with Warren, but... I think it's a scumball activity. Does that better serve you better? Thank you. Yeah. Um, we, we asked earlier about Goldman Sachs getting into the business of having a trading desk for Bitcoin. Berkshire Hathaway owns about $2.5 billion of Goldman Sachs. Does it bother you or does it not surprise you? Just Well, I don't expect every investment bank to agree with everything I think. They're, they have a lot of animal spirits in investment banking. Five years ago, right here in these chairs on Fox Business, you called it uh, rat poison, but that was when it was about $150. Uh, today it's 9000 It had hit 19000 So it's more expensive rat poison. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there are some people who were able to make some money. And, and we heard from people who are very passionate about this, and they said, oh, those guys are just trying to protect their... Uh, old school uh, investments in U.S. dollars. What do you say to that? Well, I think these idiot booms do harm to a country. They frequently come to bad ends and they cause economic consequences that are bad for the whole damn country. And so I like it when my country steps hard on idiot booms instead of fanning the flames. And if there's ever anything that needed stepping down on hard, it's Bitcoin. 